Hello all, I'm Mr. Ladina. I teach chemistry here at Cliffside Park High School. This will be my uh, second year teaching here at uh, Cliffside Park High School. I was uh, I was actually a graduate from Cliffside Park back in 2006. I graduated from William Patterson. This isn't this isn't uh, my second year teaching though. I actually taught at Elmwood Park High School for four years until I was lucky enough to get the job here at you know pretty much back at home. So yeah, this is my uh, second year teaching at Cliffside Park High School and. Uh, you know, it's actually really exciting being back in the building where I graduated from. So I'm in rooms uh, 123 or 125, depending on which class I'm teaching. I teach both chemistry and chemistry of the community. Chemistry, just uh, general chemistry is, is more, I would say, math based. And chemistry of the community would be more uh, conceptual type of chemistry, a little less, a little less math heavy more on concepts and understanding those concepts in chemistry. As far as the syllabus goes, this is a, a very general overview of, of everything that we would be going over in chemistry. We have matter and change, measurements, uh, atomic structure, which plays a big part. The periodic table also plays a big part because we go over uh, certain trends in the periodic table, the st structure, the history of it. Bonding that's either between covalent and ionic bonding, mainly between ionic bonding because covalent is more towards uh, organic chemistry. And stoichiometry, which is very math heavy, but that's also a very exciting point in chemistry because there's a lot of labs associated with it. We have gas laws and then acids and bases. Usually that's where we finish out the year. So... Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I did graduate from Cliffside Park High School. I graduated from William Patterson University, and this would be my sixth year teaching. So the learning expect as far as learning expectations go, labs would be a big portion of the class. So obviously, you know, given the, the, the circumstances now, the kids would have to be doing more uh, virtual labs than anything else. And I'll be trying to perform some demos for the kids just so they can actually see chemistry in action. So the labs are actually the most important part of the class, in my opinion, because the kids actually get to not just deal with the theoretical portion of it or the conceptual portion of it, but they actually get to do science and kids generally enjoy it. So, you know, hopefully we can be back soon where they can start performing these labs. And given the labs, of course, there'll be a lab report due with it, which I'll be teaching them how to write those lab reports accordingly. Assignments are pretty much given every single day, whether it's a, a, a do now or an exit ticket. Those are given daily, I would say. Uh, tests and quizzes, I usually announce them a week or two prior. Quizzes, generally a week. Tests are given, uh, tests are announced probably two weeks in advance. And reviews are generally given for both, a day or two before. And uh, the, the tests are given probably, I would say, once, maybe twice a marking period. Quizzes, I would say once every week, once uh, every 10 days, we'll say. And the tests are graded out of 200 points, and your quizzes are graded out of every out of uh, 100 points. So, of course, the tests will be weighed a little more heavily than the others. But as long as if, if students aren't that great test takers as, as some of us aren't, the other assignments that are given to them usually weigh enough to where it'll balance it out nicely. So, you know, if, if, if I have a, a student that's struggling with their quizzes, but they're doing it, you know, exceptionally well on most of their assignments, that'll generally bump up their grade. And, and of course, participation takes, a, takes into account and attendance. So in closing, you can email me at that email address, eladina at cliffsidepark.edu. That's probably the best way to get into contact with me. I'm, I'm, you know, I have, you know, between my phone, my laptop, my Chromebook, I, I'm always checking my email and I generally get back to you within 24 hours. So if you have a question or a concern about a grade or, or, or you know, one, one, of, one, of your, one of your kids has a question, they can always email me at that email address and I will get back to you as soon as possible, undoubtedly.
and extra help is given pretty much every day. Whether they whether whether kids want it after school from two fifteen to three fifteen or in the morning, say from seven thirty to about eight twenty when when the day starts. So uh, you know, I'm hoping for a great year, just like my first year was last year. And please, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.